Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the NHL slate for this evening. A very nice, healthy eight-game slate. Um, and we're going to do it in the same format we have been. We were really close last night. I think we finished top 10 in the main GPP. Um, been actually having a really nice, solid ROI in NHL. Haven't taken one down in a little while, though. I think it's about time for that. Um, one of the things that's been interesting is the lineups that I've been building uh, on Saber Sim have been really trying to not get me to, but but really leading me towards non traditional builds. Um, getting a lot of four twos and things like that, and it just kind of offends my my correlative senses. You know, I I really prefer to get like the sixes and the five five twos and the four threes in hockey. But correlation is just so important. Um, I wonder if and I was wondering if Saber Sim just kind of redid their their algorithms over the last year or so. But I went into the forums and they said no, this is what we're coming up with. So uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna accept it, but it doesn't mean I have to listen to it. You know, I'm gonna uh, probably uh, and we'll see how I make my Saber Sim builds after you know we go over the slate. I do want to kind of err towards the side of the more correlative stacks. And away from just what I get recommended, I, I think that that's probably wise, at least for me. Um, so again, the first thing I want to do, and I want to look at the team totals on for some of these different models. And one of the very, you know, the, the sharper guys in our Discord asked me, "So why do you even bother with that? If you're going to just bother even looking at the totals at all, let's just look at what's implied by Vegas." Yeah, I get it. I, I understand, but I, I like to see where where people who make these projections for a living just kind of come at, you know? And the point is, is that, you know, remember that the implied goal totals from Vegas are not, they're not based on projections and they're not based on data, right? What they're based on is the people who are betting on this, you know, betting on, betting on these teams, their opinions on what it should be, right? And I know it, you're probably best off just kind of accepting it, but listen, hockey's not exactly the most liquid market in the world, and I don't know. I, I'm not exactly convinced that the that the line implied by Vegas is better than the implied goal totals driven by these projection models uh, on DFS on some of the better DFS sites. So, um, I'm just not sure. You know, I uh, when it comes to NFL, I'm pretty sure that those are pretty pretty solid. Um, as far as NHL implied team totals, I think it's kind of in the middle. I don't know. I, I, I hate to say this. I, I'd be more inclined to, to trust the aggregate implied goal totals of DFS projection models than the sum total of the people betting on them, on those totals in, in Vegas. I don't know how much even action that type of bet even gets. So I don't know. Well, at the very least, it's worth just kind of seeing how models might differ and how some team totals might be different um, than others. In any case, uh, let's start with Saber Sim. I'm looking and I see that um, there's nobody over four, but you'll have Vegas with a 3.9 team total. And then you have uh, Boston at 3.8 and then Dallas at 3.5. Uh, Washington at 3.5, Edmonton at 3.6, and Washington and Nashville at 3.4. So you have Vegas as as Vegas and Boston kind of standing out, and then you have uh, Dallas, Edmonton, Nashville, and Washington. Okay. Uh, then I just want to compare these to some of the others. So on Daily Roto, what they have is they have bought they've rounded a little bit more, but I don't know they have Boston at four, Dallas at four, Edmonton at four. Colorado, a little bit of a bump here, three eight. Vegas at four. They have Ari they have Arizona at four, which is very interesting. Um, so that's something to keep a note of uh, that that this is one group of an outlier so far. They have Arizona with a four instead of where Saber Sim had Arizona with a three point two. That that's very significant. Uh, in any case, uh, let's look at uh, one other model. Who else? Let's look at this daily face-off. These guys, I mean, only because I think this is free. I don't think anybody cares. They have Dallas at 3.8, and they have nobody over 4, uh, which is really, really interesting. I mean, look at this. They have, they have Edmonton down at 3.2. So 
So I don't know. Uh, maybe they think that the entire hockey slate is like lower than everybody else does. And I don't see that that often that this group is that much lower. So I don't know, something, something to consider. I'm not exactly sure how to consider it, but uh, it, it gives me an idea of what types of teams are probably supposed to be looking at. But then again, remember that it, this is a salary sport. And just because the team rates a score well, doesn't mean you can get those players. In. Um. With that said, let's pull up my projection sheet for today. And we will rate all these guys by sheets value score, which as you may or may not know, is a combination of points per dollar and just overall fantasy points and upside. And you'll see again on the right side, you have a listing of what lines these guys are, which, um, you know, we didn't, we, we didn't have that available to us like last year when we did this. Um, you had to go elsewhere, but now we have this. But again, this does change during the course of the day. Um, so, you know, I would check back a little later in any case, it's better than nothing. And so we're going to, once again, we're going to visualize and see which of these teams have guys that project from a sheets value course score perspective in this top kind of tier. And with any luck, you'll get a bunch of them. So like the first thing I'll kind of notice, I see Washington, all is all the way at the top of the list, but I don't really see any more Washington guys on this main page until we get down to to here to Kutsinov and Carlson so I, I know it's weird to think of it this way but I don't know for hockey I like doing this I, I think so this is a 128 29 combination okay and again I don't know exactly what that means but again this is the way I'm, 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 I'm handling this uh, we'll, we'll run a full you know Saberson built lineup uh, builder to, to, to make sense of this but we'll see uh, Edmonton, you have McDavid all the way at the top. And then you have, as usual, dry sidles pretty close. And also, as usual, these guys are kind of tough to get to. And unlike sometimes uh, when you have Edmonton slates, the other guys from Edmonton are not rated really high. Um, sometimes you'll get, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Rugen, uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins is a, is a much better play, you know, which makes everything a little bit cheaper. Here, you just have these two, and then you come have to come down to Hyman, who's 7,200. I mean, this is a very, very tough stack to afford, so it's probably not going to be the, my main idea. The, the thing that's kind of like jumping out at me looks to be Nashville, right? Because you have one, you have Forsberg's up here. Josie's here. He's 8,400 as a defenseman, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Then do Shane over here, and then uh, a twenty six hundred guy down over here. And what's cool about him is that if you look, although he's on the fourth line, he's on the first power play line. So what this is lending itself to is a very very strong idea for a power play stack. Because you look at Forsberg, he's in the number one power play. Josie is in the number one power play, and do Shane, he's in the number two. So it's not a hundred percent, but but it's 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 not bad. Then I noticed, let's see, Boston. So I have Pasternak and that's the goalie. We have Pasternak and Bergeron and Marshawn. It's the top line. It's a little expensive, but it's not as expensive as Edmonton. So they're kind of uh they're 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 a decent option. Let's look at Vancouver. You have Connor Garland, but really nobody else. Actually, JT Miller down here is not terrible. Uh, this is looks like the one that's not bad. Look at, Ve uh, at the Vegas. Vegas has a $4,800 guy here, then March Assault, then Stone. That's not bad either. Um, let's look at Dallas. Pavleski, 5,800. That's pretty much it. You have to go all the way down here to hit. So if I were building by hands... I think I would probably try to play either Nashville, Vegas, or is that was the main guys? Yeah, Nashville and Vegas. And then if you can afford Edmonton and Boston, great. Maybe go back to this Washington idea, right? Ovechkin, this is the number one power play. Uh, this guy's number one power play, number one power play. So Washington. Vegas and Nashville would be the top. And then if we can afford Edmonton and Boston, great. But those would be the three that I would try to make my hand built lineups. 
So let's try that actually. Let's let's pull up a um, let's pull up a uh, a line up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just start with a stack, and then we're going to see if we can fill in some one-offs uh, along the way. So the first one I brought up was who Nashville. So let's do it. So Nashville, you have Forsberg. Then there is uh, Josie. Then there is Duchesne. Now, you look at the power plays, I'm looking at these guys, and well, Forsberg's 1-1, one, one, Josie is 1-1, one, one, Duchesne is 1-2. So we'd like to get probably the even strength, the other Nashville even strength. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and see if anybody else comes up. Niedermeyer is on the other line. Jordan Gross is 3,600 at defense. It's not bad. So you play two defensemen. Let's keep these three for now. And then let's see if, if we can make something out of the, the other teams we talked about to kind of even it out. I mean, to, to you know, to make the stack work. Maybe we'll get a 4-3 or something like that. But before we do that, we better as well, may as well plug a goalie in here. So let's just take a look again. I'd like to put in the cheapest goalie that rates okay. So Ulmerk's 8,200. Uh, okay, Sorokin is only 7,300. Bergeron is – no, he's wrong position. So, yeah, so let's put in Sorokin. Cheapest good goalie there. Okay. So we only have 4,680 left because we spent this money on this defenseman. But let's just see if, if say, Vegas can make this work. Um, I don't think we can really fill the rest of it out because I don't remember those guys being particularly cheap. But what we could do is probably get rid of Josie. Let's see. Um, this Connor Garland is probably a decent little one-off, but we'll, we'll worry about him in a minute. So Vegas, who do we have? We have Smith, March Assault, and wait, did I miss? And Stone. And who is the other center? I think there's another center we can play. I can't find him right now. But it's Smith, Stone. Those guys are both cheap. First power play, Stone first power play. And where was the other Vegas? I know there was another guy up here. It was March Assault, one, two. Okay, so March Assault, Stone, and Smith. Let's put, let's put those guys in. Let's see what... We have to give up here. Um, wait. March Assault, Stone. He's day to day. What is this? Uh, injury. Yuck. Well, Let's see. Let's, let's put them in for now. So who is it? It was – sorry about this, guys. March Assault. Oh, they have him at center, but they have him as a wing here, which is kind of annoying. Okay. So it was Smith, March Assault, and Stone. So it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky to get what we want here. Um, especially with Josie spending all that money at defense, which is a little annoying. Let's try the Washingtons. Maybe get a little bit better luck out of that. So we'll play Carlson, Kuchinov, and Ovechkin. Let's do that first. Keep the goalie as, it, as, it, as he was. Um, where are we? Washington. So Ovechkin. Kuchinev and Carlson. So that's a good three. And then let's see if, who the rest of this power play line is for Washington. Well, first of all, Vetchkin's a 1-1. One, one. So 1-1 one, one, and who else from Washington? Hopefully it's close to at least being playable up here. Dylan Strom, there you go. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll put Strom in. 
So this looks like the way to go. This is a really strong four man and you can play this. Um, as a matter of fact, let's see if we can make a full power play line. Who's the fifth guy on this line? Um, it's not Mantha. It would be Mel Lindgren's the goalie. Connor Sheary is a one, two. Love to just get the actual. I would love to get the actual guys. So let's just let's sort by team. Uh, okay, Marcus Johansson. He's the other one. Now, it's annoying because he, if you don't get him on the power play, you don't get him at all, which is a little little troubling. Where Shiri, now you don't get him at all, you get him unless he's a four. I think Shiri might be the way to go. You don't get full power play, but you get better EV, uh, even strength line things. You get four from there. So let's do that. We'll put in Connor Shiri. now we're in business, right? So I definitely think that Washington is kind of the way to go. Um, now you can go back and grab that one off I mentioned before, that Kyle Connor, and then you can really make a good lineup here. So I definitely think that given pricing and given how these things correlate, I think that, that stacking Washington would be in a handbill the way I would go. Now, um, let's see our good friends here at Saberson agree with my assessment um and i've, I've learned i've learned to never try to guess what saber sim builds are going ooh, what saber sim builds are going to do because just when i think i know i just don't let's let's build a full 150 and see exactly what uh, i'm i would get i'm going to predict a lot of nashville i don't think they're going to be able to get to edmonton so I'm going to predict that somehow it figures out how to make these Nashville stacks work better than I could, which makes sense. Um, yep, and there it is. Oh, very good, Mr. Sheets. Um, and these Vegas ones that I couldn't figure out. See, that's why I use these guys. So in team stacks, Nashville, Vegas, a little bit more than Washington, but then Edmonton. So we, we, Hey, same, same type of idea, except again, this is why using a lineup builder does help. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't make them work myself. Um, so these guys and these guys, this algorithm does a really, really good job for you. And again, you're always getting one awesome brand inside for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it just seemed to be. So, yeah. Um, uh, pretty decent slate tonight. You could, you could attack it using my sheets by hand, or you could use Saber Sim and build kind of, I guess, cleaner looking lineups. Um, but uh, yeah, that'll do it. Uh, good luck, everybody tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, not gonna be able to go live tonight, so uh, apologize for that. But with any luck, maybe I will go live later for like the live sweat, and maybe we'll be live in something in the NHL. Good luck.